In this educational video, I intend to speak about geostatic step in the Abacus software and teach you all important points about that. The main duty of geostatic is that it ensures the equilibrium inside the soil or, in other words, geostatic step ensures that the equilibrium is established in the soil layer. Geostatic is always utilized as the step one and is used for the matters involved with soil or the models in which soil exists. It is used both for dry and saturated soils. Here, a question has been posed and that is, do we always need to use a geostatic step for the matters involved with soil? The answer is that if there is any soil in the model, it would be better that we use geostatic as the step one. The next question is that what steps may be used following the geostatic step. If the soil is dry, you can use static general step after geostatic step. And if that is saturated, you can use soils step following geostatic step. The next question having been posed here is that can we replace geostatic step with static general step? Generally, we can do this, but first you should control the equilibrium inside the soil manually in order to ensure that there is an equilibrium in the soil. Please note that if you are using static general step, you should control the equilibrium inside the layer of soil yourself because the Abacus software won't do such an action for you. But if you are using geostatic step, the Abacus software would automatically assure that the equilibrium has been established inside the soil. Here, I would like to explain about the errors which may occur occasionally in geostatic step. As you observe in these two pictures, this error would be distinguished by terms fixed time increment is too large or too many attempts made for this increment. Actually, since geostatic is a very sensitive step, the slightest inaccuracy may lead to error or non-convergence in this step. Now here, I would like to teach you any main points regarding geostatic step. And if you observe them carefully, you won't have any error in work. The first point is that you shouldn't apply any external pressure to the soil or foundation. The second point is that you should not apply displacement to the soil or foundation in geostatic step. The third point is that you shouldn't apply the weights of pile foundation or the structure in this step. You are only allowed to apply the weight of soil using body force or gravity in geostatic step. The next point is that in the initial step, you should apply initial geostatic stress 
of the soil. If you observe all mentioned points, you won't encounter any error. But you should also note that you should define the other settings, such as material or boundary conditions, properly, so you won't face any probable error. The last point I would like to mention is regarding settings for the geostatic step window. Normally, you won't need to do any setting for this window and I myself won't do any changes in its settings. Actually, if you do everything properly and carefully, geostatic step will be solved only in one increment. As you observe in this picture, step 1 is a geostatic step having been completed in only one increment.